So apparently, everyone tells you to trade with the trend. Trend is your friend, but nobody teaches you how to actually trade with the trend. Because the truth is, you can have the trend going in one direction, but you can still lose trade. So for example, if price comes into your PD array, you try to long from here, you can still lose, right? So how do you actually trade with the trend? In this video, I am going to teach you the best order flow trading strategy. Now, this is honestly the best way, if not one of the best ways, if not the best way to trade Forex, crypto or indices. All right. So we are going to be using two time frames for this model and it works on all time frames, but I will give you time frame alignment. But remember this, guys, I'm going to also teach you how to actually identify the order flow. All right. Because what sometimes can happen is if you uh, look at in the past, the actual trend would be bearish. But when you see price action from here, so let me just do this. When you come onto your chart and you only see this price action and then you assume that we are bullish, but in reality, we have been bearish. All right. Uh, but you don't have to worry about everything. The, I'm just going to teach you each and everything. So don't worry. Just sit back, relax, grab your coffee or, and just watch till the end. All right. So the time frames that I per personally like to use is two, uh, four time frames, actually. So if I am... Um, if I want to be a swing trader, like I would look at the daily and the one hour chart. All right. So on the daily time frame, I would look at the the trend, the auto flow. And then on the one hour time frame, I will try to take my entries. But if you want to be, you know, an intraday trader, then I use the uh, four hour and 15 minute time frame. Okay, uh, I suggest you stick to daily and one hour because it's going to provide you with the best setups. But if you want to trade, um, if you are a intraday trader, right, um, then choose the four hour and 15 minute time frame. All right. So how to identify the order flow, how to identify the trend? It's very simple. So let's suppose that I'm using the four hour and 15 minute time frame uh, for this model. So. When I open the four hour chart, looking at GBPUSD, within five seconds, not more, right? Within five seconds, I should be able to identify the direction of the market. I'm not looking at anything else. I just wanna look at the chart for five seconds or less. And if I can identify a clear trend that is moving in one direction, all right? and I know for certain that it's going in one direction, then I am going to follow that direction. Because there is absolutely no reason for you to be trading reversals when price is going in one direction. All right, and that is why most of you are not profitable because you do not trade with the trend. So this is the best tip that I can give you. Come onto your chart and within five seconds or even better, if you can identify the direction of the market in three seconds, then that is your sign. If you cannot identify the direction within five seconds and you're confused, okay, where is price going, right? It, it looks like it some, looks something like this, right? This, I do not want to see this because we are bearish, we are bullish, we're consolidating. No, 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 this is, this is not what you want to trade because we are simply consolidating, right? You can basically take a long from here and you can lose, price can go here, or you can take a long position and price can sweep this liquidity, or, you know, there are so many scenarios that, that are not going to be in your favor. However, when I come onto the chart and I look that, okay, price is going up and it has been going up, right? So I am going to trade in that direction now. How do you actually trade in that direction? So let's suppose that the order flow is bullish, right? You came into the chart, you could open the chart, and within three seconds, you identified that, okay, we are clearly going up. There is no consolidations. We are just pushing up and up and up. Then what you want to do is you have to mark out auto blocks. 
every single down closed candle in this scenario because we are bullish and we want to mark out bullish auto blocks. It has to be a single candle. It cannot be an entire auto block. So let's suppose that there are three candles that form an auto block here. You want to choose the last one because that is going to uh, give you the most precision, right? Because what sometimes can happen is you're going to have an auto block. So let's assume that this is one candle. This is two candles, right? And this is three candles. So this can this three candle, these three candles is an entire auto block. But you want to choose the last one. This is going to provide you the most most precision because let's suppose that if you wait for price to come into your auto block, what can happen sometimes is price will give you a push and then it will go to the last one and then push back. But then there's an entry model that follows the similar pattern I'm going to teach you in this video. And that is the exact entry model that we are going to trade. And it is very, very simple, guys. I can I can assure you that this is literally one of the best ways to trade. Now, the reason why I have so many videos is because I want to teach you everything that I know. And then it is up to you to combine all the knowledge, all the knowledge that I have provided to you, and then make a model out of all the knowledge that I provided to you, right? This is my main goal. I love to teach and I'm going to teach you each and everything that I know, all right? Uh, and I'm also learning new things every single day. Learning never stops. So how do you actually trade when you know the auto flow is what? It's bullish, right? So let me just do this. So you have an auto block on the four hour time frame, and we are bullish. What you are waiting for is price to come down into your auto block. Now, when price comes into your auto block, right, the last one right here, the down close candle, what you have to do is you have to drop down to 15 minute time frame. And then you have to look for a liquidity that forms inside this auto block. So you're gonna have an inducement move to the upside. So you're gonna have price coming to your auto block and inside this auto block, not above or anywhere else, but inside this auto block, you're gonna get a fake move first. So this is not gonna be a real move, it's gonna be a fake push to the upside. And that is going to create inducement or liquidity right around this level. Now, when you're on the 15 minute time frame and you see that price has created this fake move to the upside, right? What you have to do is wait for price to sweep that low once again. So price came back into your four hour auto block, pushed up, created this low, this swing low over here, right? And then it pushed down back, stopping out all the buyers, the early buyers that were present here. And then you have to look for change in the state of delivery so when price closes above the 15 minute bullish auto block right you can take your entry or you just simply wait for a market structure shift so what did we have we have liquidity engineered inside this auto block not above it right because what people assume is when price engineers liquidity slightly above the auto block and then they you know try to take their entry after market structure shift most of the time price will take out the liquidity again and this would be your three drive pattern the three drive pat pattern occurs when this scenario plays out but if price only engineers liquidity inside the auto block inside the pd array that that is this then you will not see a three drive pattern so you're simply waiting for a change in state of delivery or a market structure shift. Now, here is a very, very key tip that you must keep in mind. So if you're trading the four hour and 15 minute time frame combination, look for market structure shifts or change in the state of delivery within the kill zone hours. Most of the people will tell you to only take your entry during kill zone hours, but I want to see a market structure shift during kills on ours, that would be your London and New York session. Because if you're getting a market structure shift in those kill zones, then there's a clear sign that the institutions are involved around this level. I hope that makes sense. So 
Your entry, of course, would also be during the kill zone hours. So when you get a mark instructor shift, you mark out your breaker or auto block. This is your entry level, right? And you would simply just target one to two or an inefficiency that is present around this level. And that would be it. Literally, there's no better way to trade than by trading the trading with the trend, okay? Um, yes, of course, there are other mechanical models that you can use, but this one is one of the best ways because, because you're putting all the probabilities in your favor, all the, you know, everything in your favor. Because, yes, of course, you could have taken a reversal trade here, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that price will always go towards this auto block here. It will just push up, right? Or react from an auto block that is present somewhere around here. And you're waiting for price to come back here and you're taking a reversal trade and it just never uh, comes back here. And you also take a loser. So you take a trade, go for one to two, and that is pretty much it. You keep doing this. So you don't have to always look for a break of structure and then look for price to come back into your PDA array. All right. Um, because market structure is not always going to look like this. And it would it would take like, you know, weeks for you to take these trades. So from here onwards, what you're basically doing is marking out every single down close candle because every single down close candle is an opportunity for you to take the trade. So there could be an auto block here. There could be an auto block here, right? Um, just waiting for price to come back into your auto block for our four hour auto block and then wait for price to engineer liquidity inside that auto block. Look for a turtle soup, change in a state of delivery or market structure shift, entry, boom. Another four auto, auto block, same pattern, boom, boom, boom. Right, so that is pretty much the entire model. Um, uh, I'm gonna give you guys some real chart examples and that is gonna help you a lot. So let's move on to the examples now. All right guys, so here is example number one. So what do you notice here? Right? I'm looking at the daily time frame and on a bigger picture, we are definitely going up. But notice what happened here. We swept buy side liquidity and for, you know, around 15 days or so, we have been bearish, right? And I'm quite sure we're going to fill this remaining fair value gap, right? So right now you can see on the daily, we are bearish. Although the bigger picture is that we are bullish, but you can see we are dropping down, right? So how you would have traded this level. So you, as I said before, you can mark out any PD array. It doesn't necessarily have to be auto block. So any fair value gap or any auto block down close candle, single one is an opportunity for you. So. I'm going to mark out the fair value gap here and I'm going to go to the one hour time frame, right? So this is where the fair value gap formed. So I'm waiting for price to come into my fair value gap. And right there, you can see we tapped into this fair value gap. We created the high around this level. So we engineered a high around this level. So we are waiting for a sweep and a market structure shift. So it happens right there very clean right and then we have this auto block here price taps into it so remember the one thing if you're trading the daily in one hour you don't necessarily have to look for market structure shift during kills and hours and you don't necessarily have to take your entries during kills and hours as well but this was a good trade we took our entry at nine stop right below above the auto block we can target this high sorry, this low around this level. And you can see we already got a tap. And you're going to see that we hit our take profit level quite nicely. Um, the best approach here is to go break even uh, at 1 to 1 or 1 to 1.5. Okay, uh, if the trend is clean, just go break even at 1 to 1.5. But if you are, you know, getting uh, scared, then just go break even at 1 to 1. Uh, let's, let me give you guys more examples. All right, guys, so here is example two. And you can see within like three seconds, I know where the price is currently going. It's going down, right? I don't necessarily have to look far back, but you can see that in the bigger picture, we are kind of bearish, 
but you just want to look at this price action over here and you must instantly know that where the market is heading so break of structure push down tap into pdra we are respecting pdras that is a good sign another break of structure so where are we going we are going down right don't look at this price action right because all of these pdras are very low probability because you know it's there's a very high chance they will not work but what will work is trading with the current volume trading with the current trend trade trading with the current price flow so what do we have here we have this bearish auto block i'm going to mark out the bearish auto block right there i'm going to go to the 15 minute time frame and i'm looking at euro aud and remember this works with everything so price goes up and creates what liquidity right so we have to wait for price to engineer liquidity inside the auto block or fair value gap or volume imbalance. And then we are waiting for price to sweep the liquidity. So right there, what you can see, we swept liquidity that was engineered inside the auto block. So now, since we are trading the Australian pair, we can trade this during Asian session as well. So the Asian session starts at 8 p.m. And right there, during 20, right? This is when the Asian session starts. We swept liquidity. We look for a market structure shift that happens right here. And what do we have here? We have a fair value gap, right? We could have this as our first target. So short position somewhere around here stops above this level or somewhere around here. And we can go for one to two right there. Boom. And you can see how price just keeps dropping from here onwards because we are trading with the trend okay we're waiting for price to engineer liquidity inside this auto block waiting for price to sweep the liquidity inside the pd array and then market structure shift entry boom right there let's move on to the next example all right so here is another example i'm going to give you five seconds to tell me where the market is going okay i just opened the chart within if three seconds five seconds i should be able to know where the market is going. Are we going up or are we going down? And it is very simple. We are going down. I don't care anything about this. I don't really care about this. Notice what happened here. We swept liquidity here and then we are pushing down. Okay. I am not concerned about the levels here. As long as I don't see any signs of reversal. So for example, if price just breaks above this level or this level, I'm going to stay bearish. Okay, I'm going to trade with the trend. I don't care. So, what do we have here? Bearish auto block. So, I'm just going to mark this out. Wait for price to tap into this auto block. And then I'm going to drop down to 15 minute time frame. Wait for price to engineer liquidity inside the PDRA. And you can see we created this high over here. So, that is a liquidity level, inducement level. I'm not caring about this liquidity i'm not caring about this liquidity right the liquidity that is that forms inside the pdra is the one you should be focusing on so from here onwards we're just looking for a market structure shift as long as price is inside the pdra which is this auto block for our auto block and we got our shift here we broke this structure along the way and we have what we have this auto block and we have this fair value gap so i'm gonna mark the auto block here you can you can take your entry from this fair value gap as well stops right above the high and we can practically target this level here for trend continuation and let's see how this plays out now notice we got a market structure shift during kills on ours right and Now we are in the Asian session and we can trade this because we are in J uh, trading JPY, right? And if I drag this along the auto block, you can see we caught like pinpoint entry, like literally zero drawdown. Look, ticked into it and look what happens. Our entry is when? During London session, right? We got our market structure shift when? During New York session. So that is perfect. We got our entry and let's see how this plays out. And that would have given you 9.24 RR. So if you get a trade like this, you can pass your challenge in one trade. Literally. 
Let me give you guys one more example and then I'm going to end the video. All right, guys, so here's the last example. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to tell me where the market is going. So where is it going? Where is price going? Move up, move down, move up, move down, move up. Where is it going, guys? I'm not looking at this. I'm looking at this at the current moment. Where are we going, bros? And it's clear we are going up. So I'm going to utilize every single PDRA. OK, I don't care if it's in discount or premium. That is bullshit. I'm just trading with the trend, trading with the volume, trading with the momentum. So we have this fair value gap here and waiting for price to tap into it. And you can see boom right there. But what happened exactly that caused this big move, move right? So for four hour to 15 minute is the time frame alignment. So notice what happens here. Price taps into this fair value gap, pushes up, creates liquidity around this PDRA, on this PDRA, inside this PDRA. That is very important. Then we come back and then we sweep this liquidity. Then what do we have here? We have change in a state of delivery or a market structure shift right there. And then finally, we have our entry and that is before 12. So we are good. Long entry right freaking there. Oops, like that. Stop below this low. And one to two or one to three, whatever, because you're going to see price keeps pushing down. So you need only one this, you only need one trade like this and you can basically pause your challenges. So key things to note, trend should be clear, direction should be clear. Don't focus too much on the pro past price action. Look at the present price, where are we going? And then trade it. This is very common sense because when you're trading with the direction of like your high time frame, your the probabilities are already going to be in your favor. So do what you want to do with this model, trade it, get funded. This is absolutely free for you. Um, you know, I have other videos as well. Watch them, collect as much knowledge and information you can from those videos, combine them, back test, practice, combine all the concepts that I've taught you, and then create a trading strategy of your own or follow these exact models because you're going to learn a new thing from every single video. Okay. You may be asking Faz, why do you have so many videos? And that is because the markets are like a big universe. Okay. There are so many ways to trade this market. And as, as much as I like to tell you that you can only trade one model for the rest of your life the markets are never the same one day you're gonna have a consolidating market right and one day you're gonna have a trending market so you must know how to trade the consolidating markets look at my abc videos look at my external to internal liquidity videos right but the trend following is this is how you actually trade you don't have to overcomplicate this liquidity inside the pdras sweep of that liquidity boom right there that is your entry. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.